<sighs> With that all said and done, thank God we don't have to go to the uh, the circuitry levels anymore. That was the very last one. Thank goodness. We're gonna cleanse our pile with a bonus stage. I also realized we forgot to say welcome back because we got actually went on a very interesting topic that <laughs> may as well just commit to. I mean, isn't th isn't that this, what this kind of game is built for? I suppose so. Why not? I I don't even know where that damn bonus stage actually was. I want to say it's in this hub. Let's Whoop. see. Because it looked like there was plenty of empty space that was still there. It's just a matter of if this game. Oh wait, no, too Yeah, wait. There it is. Here we go. There I got the rare. Oh, so I got the rent. Got the reruns. I got the re. Oh. Yeah, I got the reruns. Yeah, that's why I was mentioning earlier. There it is. So I got the reruns. Involves a rather interesting little obstacle course. Ninety-nine. In three minutes. Yeah, there's a lot here. But thankfully, it's actually, a, it, it's honestly not too bad, all things considered. I wish the hit detection was a bit better on these. Yeah. I mean, at least I can use my, as you've no doubt been noticing throughout my entire playthrough, I've been using my tail a lot to collect all the um, collectibles. And I mean, it's a, it makes me very grateful that this game does adhere to what Sly Cooper would do later with his cane. Yes. Right. Actually, speaking of Sly Cooper, like, I don't know if we talked about it before, but do you think we should try to do, like, something, like, it doesn't have to be a full-on playthrough, but, like, a look at of, like, of, I forget the name, the, the game that they made beforehand on the N64. Oh, uh, Rocket on Wheels? Yeah. Or, excuse me, Rocket Robot on Wheels. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that at some point mine, or another. Because the game itself is honestly not that bad, it's just, it does take, it does take a little bit of, um, elbow grease and, uh, know-how in order to play. Right. Also, one of the written, like, I want to say it was also the very first game to actually utilize a uh, physics engine. Mm -hmm. If not the first. Oh, give me, give me, yeah. I, I'm, I'd, be, I'd be up for playing it. I just, I just, I'll admit, I've never touched that. I've tried it a few times. It's also, again, it's not too bad. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. By the way, you may be wondering, how does Gex, how can Gex carry all these miniature fat TVs? Yes. Good night, everybody. I bet you're wondering why I tied a squirrel to a megaphone. Well, well goodbye. goodbye! I I remember now what I was talking about earlier in that last session, so about with Disney and not taking any risks oh, that, like... First off, dangerous. one more to go was that, um... It was just that I... So I, I saw a Defunct Land video talking about... Nice. That was a close one. I saw a Defunct Land video talking about the fact that, like... Say what you will about Disney under, uh, under Eisner, but... Eisner at least took risks and tried a lot of, like, wacky things. Not all of them worked out, but, like, we still were able to, like, be given a lot of fun little TV shows and stuff that we don't really see many people talk about anymore. And Iger's been playing things relatively safer. Yeah. It's been, it was a dark period. What I'm saying is that Disney, goddammit, don't, don't be afraid and put frickin' Dave the Barbarian and stuff on Disney Plus already. Isn't yeah, seriously, I'm Because no, no hype, they haven't done. They, no hype, they haven't not done on it yet. yet. Nope. Okay, that, that that wasn't. Well, I kind of figured as such, but I was just distracted by something else. But yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah honestly, I don't blame you because like that, like the the early to mid two thousands was very interesting for Disney TV. Like I had a lot of like shows on there that definitely stood out. Like we mentioned Dave the Barbarian, one that I've thought about recently that I want to go back and rewatch just to see how well it holds up is uh -huh. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. Oh, I yeah. was honestly about to ask between the, between that and between Brandy and Mr. Whiskers and Dave the Barbarian, which one do you see actually getting on the service first? Brandy. Um, okay, um yeah, I was about to say uh, Brandy's probably more likely. Um, it's really hard for me to say because it's like I do have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I feel like in terms of just straight up humor, I feel like Dave is a little bit more cons Dave is more consistently funny. I know Brandy and Mr. Whiskers would sometimes just go for gross out humor. Yeah, that, it, it does dwell on that, but it's like, it's not like that 24-7. It does have its share of, like, uh, fun moments as well. Like, for example, there's an episode where uh, Brandy is wrongfully jailed for something. Whiskers is trying to find uh, something to prove her innocence. And it keeps coming back to her in this prison, talking to these, like, gorillas. It's like, hey guys, if you let me go, I'll get you a banana. Oh, there you go again with your gorilla, st with your monkey stereotypes. Do you know how deeply that offends us? And she goes, fine, I'll stop. It's like, can you believe her thinking that low of us? I know. Hey, you want a banana? Oh yeah, give me one of those yellow beauties. <laughs> <laughs> those yellow beauties. 
You little beauties. Yeah, I also, beauty. I also just, I also just in general really love the voice acting in that show. Like it is, like Whiskers is hands down probably one of my favorite Charlie Adler performances. Oh yeah, he, he pretty much like the dude's dude's known for going nuts akimbo with the, what he does in Cow and Chicken, but that right there is. Um, Pretty much what Disney was able able to get out of that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I will say to ye spoiled millennials, that show was my introduction to Kaylee Kuko and not Big Bang Theory. I'm not blaming you. That that was my introduction. I don't, I I still don't care for Big Bang Theory as a show. I feel like um, it just marginalizes nerd like culture and stuff as a joke. Where like half the time the joke is just he's a nerd. When let's laugh at let's let's laugh oh at how much of a nerd he is. When fun fact, nerds don't talk like that. Wait, hey, 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 they, they don't they, don't, they don't they don't make references to algorithms and chemical formulas with every sentence. Only during sabbaticals do we do that. <laughs> so you're saying they do exist? The difference between this and Hades is there's no cat really difference. I mean, yeah, but not to the, not yeah, but not to the like. I'll be honest, like half. <clears throat> I'm probably reading into this too. Maybe I'm not reading into this properly, but. Like, growing up, I thought, like, oh, is Sheldon just supposed to be, like, an autistic savant kind of character? Like, and I almost thought that's what young Sheldon was supposed to, like, showcase, but I have no idea what's going on with that show. Oh, f Oh, what the- Oh, you died. Damn it, Terry. This is why no one likes King of Fighters. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's what you're doing. I'm still. Oh, yeah, I just. I'm still nervous about King of Fighters. I heard. I, I, I've been hearing middling things about King of Fighters, the new one. But so long. I mean, if it's going 14, 15 games strong. Yeah, I mean, like the it's still from. I I don't recall hearing like any particularly bad things about the new installment. But then again, King of Fighters is also a franchise that like not. Like, it, it definitely has a strong fan base, but it's not exactly something casuals talk about compared to, like, say, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Right. Not really, no. Speaking of Sheldon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be but, yeah, j just going back... Well, winding back a bit to, like, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, like, just a lot of the voice work that I really enjoy out of that, like... I, like, I mentioned Charlie Adler. Um, um, Ed, um, Tom Kenny is also, like, a really funny one. Just, what the... PS1 technology was done in such a compressed that in such a way where it still was this game was still able to keep its E rating. Honestly, there's like a lot of things about this vote for Oak. Look, Gallagher got a gig. Like there's a lot of things in here that really make me surprised that they kept an E rating. Like not just that, but there's also things in that city bonus level. But like at one point, one of the buildings that he passed by was actually a topless bar. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they were somehow able to get away with all that. Yeah. All right. On that note, that's pretty much it for that level. Although I was still, I was so close to getting the the the, the reward, or not the reward, the hidden, whatever. They're they're all pretty much the same type of remote to me. How dare you? <laughs> I have named every single one of them in honor. That one's name was Mark. Interesting. And then, and then, let me guess, this one was named, uh, Little Dylan? No, this one was called Dodge the Steam Vents, can't you read? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being really weird, I'm being really weirdly mean to everybody today, this is not my character arc. Why, man? I'm sorry, anyway. Well, let's get moving, but now, is this level, like, is this level fair to us for replayability, or is it gonna make us replay a lot? Um, uh, not too, too much. Like, I don't remember this little particular level being too, uh, super big. Okay. And most all the the uh, pathways start to split right around the, uh, first third. Okay. It's just how aggressive all the enemies here I don't like. Yeah, no, spe especially our ancient ancestors that have tails that have a mind of their own. I yeah. shall call him Bex. I will call him Ix. Also, oh, we're icy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, basically, and pretty much what uh, the flame power up did for er earlier, this is what uh, the ice power does for us. But so that be here. That being said, be careful because uh, if you dip in the lava, that's it. I was gonna say this is uh. not the time for us to be icy. Like, why would this? Why, how would this help us? Yeah, seriously, this would make more sense if we were in a freezer. Huh? <laughs> I know. Every time it, it keeps catching me off guard. Oh, 
Oh, oh uh, da, 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 da. man, what I would have given for a Dreamcast port of this game. Yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't. Run silky nope. smooth. Or at the very least for three. It runs silky smooth at all times and oh careful. It's just so fun and twisty and not twisty and and and, and, and speedy. But uh And yeah, no, we're still gonna do slide four. I have it all I, I think I ha I think I have it all edited. We just need to have, find the time, but you know what that's right. We're gonna oh jeez. That's right, we were gonna wait until after uh Spyro since uh Icky may or may not join for this. I'd say don't even pick a fight with this guy. Just run. Oh, oh. <laughs> think of the, think of the timelines, man. Think of the timelines in our health. And, oh, oh boy. Yeah, out there. Honestly, oh jeez. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I was just gonna say, honestly, Logan. If I can be honest, I feel like because he's never really oh. up and talked about it every time it's been brought up. I feel like it wouldn't be like a big like offensive case if Icky did miss out on a bit of Sly Four. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That may just be us three at that point, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll miss. I, I'll forever miss our Bentley offs. Well, I mean, we can still have Bentley offs. It's just that he won't be a part of them. <laughs> but he always liked the Bentley offs. I, I do. I at the very least see it where like maybe he'll he'll join us to like at least you know see it off. But like, I definitely don't blame him for not having much emotional. One day soon, there'll be a smoke belching factory here. Oh, so can soon. I, I can picture its serenity now. Um, it's, um, but it's, I mean, at the very least, I think he would, uh, I don't blame him for not having much emotional investment in frickin' Sly 4. But honestly, you saying that about, like, did that say Gex has no eyebrows? Gex Max, uh, Gex has two eyebrows. Huh. What? I don't see any eyebrows. I don't see any on this gecko. All this, thanks to Miracle. <laughs> but yeah, I was just about to say, just the way you were that, like, he'll be there to see us off, that just gives me this mental image of, like, Icky, still with his Bentley voice, being like the mom dropping the kids off at school. It's like, all right, boys, I'll pick you up at seven. I'm, uh... I sound very weird. I'm sorry, that image. I, 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 did, not, I did not sound like a hell. I did not sound like a healthy kid. <laughs> well, Bentley's not a healthy kid either. Yeah. What, what was that, Big Murray? I'm, um, I'm gonna go get my inhaler today. <laughs> hey, Murray, don't forget your diabetes pill. <laughs> he ate those three days ago, Ma. It was Wait, uh. It was I very. Know. I was very irresponsible. I did not report on it immediately. I kind of just wanted. I honestly was kind of hope. I was kind of. It was kind of death. I was kind of morbidly curious to see how long we keep it going. Honestly, uh, so you, you know what I'm now reminded of. Back right. when we were in the middle of Spyro it's Two, really and like, granted, a lot of that was attributed to the fact of how Devil Damn late it was at that point. But we were joking about how like we never did learn how Bentley and Murray got into the oh. orphanage. And we had the joke about how, like, Bentley was in the orphanage because he accidentally blew up the school during a science fair. <laughs> I love that one so much. Oh, yeah. Just for, just for the low-key, just for the way you low-key said, well, but at least I got an, a, got, an, got an A at the science fair. Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking killing me. Oh, God. What, what's, was that slide one or two? Two. That was a, that was two. I need to look yeah, back. It was, I, I need to find that. It's clip. when we were in the... I, it was when we were doing like the last handful of missions on the uh, blimp. That's right when they were reminiscing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like, my parents abandoned me at the mall. Look, Lear accident. Might have been my fault. But I got. <laughs> and that's right. And then, I don't know why, but then the image that came to my head. I feel bad for that, but now, but like, then the, then the next image that came to my head was freaking, uh, Murray, what happened to your parents? Got hungry. <laughs> Christ. And this is why we keep him well fed at all hours of the day. Do hippos even eat their own kind? No, no, <laughs> they wouldn't. Why, I don't actually. Why, why, like, why, I, I would. That would be horrible to picture. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Sorry. <laughs> no, but I. But that would. A, no, but actually, to, to be just perfectly honest, they would probably be the best at it. Because if you see, have, have you learned? Have you have you learned? Do you know about the freaking jaw strength of a hippo? Uh, yeah, 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 no, like apparently it's enough to literally crush a uh, watermelon without any, without any effort. No, stri yeah, straight up. Like, like, th that is why more people die from hippos than from sharks. Because sharks. guess what? Hippos can actually like. 
I, I want to say they can match almost the same speed as some horses when they like get into a, a full-on run. Yeah, wow. like you, you think all that's fat? No, like there's plenty of muscle built in like like very deep. So yeah, congratulations. Why do you why do you think Murray is the way he so, is? Like he's actually one of those rare hippo characters that's actually true to scale. So congratulations, you have a territorial shark that can run. At, <laughs> so well, even even then, like the, even then, I didn't we talk about the fact that media tends to like they'll flanderize the nature of sharks? Well, because because uh, well, yeah. it's like when you think of like. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like it's same with the, like the T-Rex or something compared to a Velociraptor. It's like, oh hey, oh hello, I just kind of give that one to you. Oh, whoop, your greed. And that's assuming why. You, assuming you can, assuming you can work with the camera. Come on, hey. Wow, that. I, I guess James Earl Jones makes kick-ass tacos. Fact number one I've learned today. <laughs> I, I mean, what you though? Oh my gosh. I wouldn't doubt it. Alright, well, that one was easy enough. Oh, thank god. And honestly, I don't care about missing the reward. It's like, again, you've seen the process. You don't need mm -hmm. to... Well, barring mm -hmm. when I, the stupid shit I pulled back at the lap, back at the Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko, it's really nothing that's all that special. Yeah, and I'll say as far... I'll say otherwise as far as what we're doing here, like, this hub is more than... Oh! Oh. Is that the end? That right there is the way to the final boss. Wow. Uh, final level, actually. Let's beat it. No, fine. We'll do well. We'll, we'll play wow. it. We'll do Mario sixty four rules. Yeah, I, I want to try to go for mm. well, just about everything. So uh, yeah, let's get the shit out of the way first. We gotta blow up some blood coolers. Okay. Oh, this this must have been the level I remember watching you practice because I remember one of the blood cooler levels giving you a bit of hassle. Yeah. Oh. With, oh, with that, I'll be right back. I have to go set up the oven to cook. Oh, okay. okay. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I'll, 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 most likely, I'll be back like before this is done. Also, uh, also be sure to ask if Drew Carey took care of his bar tab. I shall. Uh, which one? Yes. <laughs> this was right around. I mean, in all fairness, this was just be just before um, who like uh, when Drew Carey took over for whose lines it anyway. Right, I have to remind myself he wasn't the original host. Right. I mean, granted, I think around this time he was still still doing the Drew Carey show. Right. Anyway, let's go take care of those blood coolers. <clears throat> There's eight of them throughout the whole level, and they are pretty, you know, carefully hidden. Although this level's also not too bad as far as, like, getting the uh, bonus remote if you decide to go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I think that little like laughing hack I did when you were talking about the idea of like cannibalistic hippos left <laughs> a little something in my throat back there. I mean, <laughs> there are some certain types of animals that will resort to cannibalism. I mean, oh, fish oh, is kind of a no-brainer. Oh, I mean, ab I mean, absolutely. Like, I'm not saying you're wrong about that. Absolutely, it's just that it, just the idea of hippos being one of them was it, th that was a little too frightening to register. <laughs> I mean, granted, like. Given how, given the fucking cooperative measures they took they took just to nearly kill a crocodile. Oh, there's the quip I love so much. Because technically he's not wrong. We are collecting a whole lot of shit that's just strewn along strewn along the place. For all yeah. we know, this could very much be the property of someone else. Yeah. Just yeah, no. There's a lot of good quips in I this game. It's just I a shame that uh, <laughs> most people tend to remember the more dated ones. Well, my guess that is that... And also, that and also, you know, the usual catchphrase of, tail time! Well, again, a lot of it has to do with the fact that those are the ones that are either the more plentiful or better in G, the ones that people are stuck with hearing the most. Yeah, that's the unfortunate issue there. But yeah, you know what, now that I, now that we were just talking about the... I know I shouldn't be dwelling on this topic for as long as I have been, but now that we've brought up the notion of cannibalistic, like, hippos... I, actually, it might not be straight-up cannibalistic in the reference I'm about to say, but now I have this mental image of... of the, the one scene from the new Bad Guys trailer, where it's like they're trying to share the push pop, only the snake just eats it, and then the shark's like, I'm gonna teach you to share, and just straight-up eats the snake. Now I just have this image of Murray doing that to either Sly or Bentley for not sharing their snack. Jesus. Yeah, I could totally- the sad thing is, is I could- in some other context, I could totally imagine Murray doing that. Totally worth it! <laughs> I mean, yeah, Bentley would be the more devious to attempt fate. 
<laughs> the Imperial fleet would never follow us into a floating furniture field. Well, they wouldn't, I assume, mm -hmm. because it's full of asteroids. Oh, okay, so that scream happens every time you push in one of those. Yes. Someone forgot to re someone forgot to remove all the bodies. Mm -hmm. Don't take career advice from Joe Piscopo. And apparently, they're not like fully dead yet. <laughs> He's only mostly dead. No, you're actually near dead. That's another show I need to get back into. Like, I want to say it's on Disney Plus because I know a lot of Henson stuff is, but I'm just thinking back to this episode of Dinosaurs where it's like the the grandma has like a near death experience. It's like. Like she saw heaven for a brief bed during her near death experience, and like some and like a bunch of greedy people were like taking advantage of her and using her story to get rich. Oh jeez. Yeah, and it's like, and then it does have like a handful of like sweet moments. Like when she gets like another like near death experience, she's talking with her late husband, and you know the whole thing of like the whole story of like you know don't sell the afterlife, and it's just like. It, it, it was a pretty sweet moment between the two, pretty relatable lesson as well, but I also remember like moments where it's like, like when Earl pretty much buried the mother the first time, the, the wife is like, well did you check her pulse, did you make sure she was dead? Yes, I made sure she was dead, I'm not a complete idiot. Then rolling into the house was the grandma still covered in dirt and moss as she somehow <laughs> dug her way out of the hole she was put in. I mean, yeah, I mean, way to go grandma. Yeah. I mean, considering she's wheelchair-bound, which, back. you know, imagine how... Oh, hello. Because I was about to say, considering she was wheelchair-bound, which, you know, imagine how wheelchairs would work in the prehistoric era, the fact that she was able to claw her way out of there with what I assume was just her hands and teeth is mighty impressive. Oh, for context, Logan, we were talking about dinosaurs. Oh. Yeah, the Jim Henson show. Oh. I also... For some reason, I was remember, I was thinking of something hey, else. Oh, what was that? Uh, you guys ever seen Madagascar 2? I have. Uh, I have. <clears throat> I, I still need to get around to watching the other two movies. The two, two, um, two's okay, and it's just a couple of odd characters. And three, me. I'll say that by three, they definitely have set up Madagascar to just be their non sequitur story. Just, I would say so. It's like, but it's almost one like, thing. I'll ahead. definitely, one thing I'll definitely give three is that like it definitely goes for broke, and in a way that I kind that kind of makes me like it. More than two, right? Because yeah, it, it just a it lot just, of the insane stuff it does is genuinely amusing. I, I, it, oh, this is a way. To, this is a way to another. Right. Trip. It just it just fully embraces the weirdness of it. So it just does things with like 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 you could argue that in one and definitely in two, but you could definitely argue that in one it was trying to make sense. Like these are animals right, thrust it, into the real world, and they're. Tr is there any reason to hit those clocks? Uh, not really. Okay, no. you just have fun. There, it's just, it's just one of, you just want to be annoying. Fair enough. I just, <laughs> I was just I was like, is there like a puzzle, a password? Or honestly, heck, what I like to do sometimes, like when I'm thinking of some funny joke, like funny ass joke, I just go all laugh. Okay. <laughs> Comedy. Order in the court. Comedy. Laugh at my pun. I mean, I, I, in some ways, it's, it's like it sounded like the, it sounded like that like punchline sound effect. You need to get a bailiff for severely understaffed. All rise. Anyway, that's a centaur world reference. Anywho. Uh... God, I keep doing. I that. know. We'll, oh, we'll be back there later. Trust me. But um, but yeah, no, it was. I guess if there's any. Actually, if I will say anything about this particular version of Screen TV, it's definitely the most open-ended of a lot. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. So, like there's, no, it's not, it's not terribly, it's not very linear. It, at it's all. just trying to find. It, so at that point, I see what you're saying. Where finding the coolers strewn about is the hardest part of this level. Correct. But once we did that, it'll be okay. And there are no coolers down that hallway. Under this old nope. Okay. The, the, the whole way down there the, leads to a, uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah hey, there, there we are. This oh, even better. more of them. Yeah, and unfortunately, this is where it gets the most obnoxious. Because now, like, when the light's green, they're just all like, praise me, the gecko. But when oh, you run you. away, it's like, we've lost faith and now you must die. Oh. We <laughs> wish to marry you. We... I, was it our breath? <laughs> like they, 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 yeah. they, they chase, they're chasing after you like hey, la, I can't change it's like, I, I believer can... it's like I can change baby I can change la, la, la. actually like just one like what do you gotta do anyway baby please anywho so um but yeah so like Madagascar 1 and 2 they tried to make sense they tried to they, they tried to set it up where like you know the world had rules that it was following but then by three, now you have a tiger that there is no gimmick, there is no trick. He can literally just 
bring anything with him through a size through, through a hole the size of your pinky. Yeah. And that's it. Like there's no there's no I, I thought there was gonna be like some like, oh, maybe he was just acting alone. No, he just can break the laws of physics and he even does it like it, 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 it even gets used as part of a jailbreak, so it really is just how the world reacts. But I will say that as far as like what the characters are allowed to do, and especially with what they have the villain doing, they de they definitely just they, it, it, yeah, as hype said, it was non sequitur in like a really fun way where they were like, "Fuck it, right? Yeah, Let's just have just fun." And honestly, the villain in particular is also a big highlight from three. Oh, like she is probably oh, that the chase, most oh, that chase scene. She just like the, admitted. The chase and just her in general. She is just like... It's kind of like the horse from Tangled. It's like she is so committed to an almost insane point and it's just genuinely funny. Oh, no. I, 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 forgot, I forgot the name of the actress who played her, but she just said she had a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I know Nat, Nat mentioned, mentioned her like in an earlier commentary. I just don't remember the name off the top of my head. Right. right. So Okay, so then, sorry. So the reason why I brought Madagascar is you mentioned the old lady dying or almost being dead. It reminded me of that bit from Madagascar 2 where it, the penguins were doing their, their mission to just steal golf, to just steal tour bus after tour bus to get parts mm -hmm. to repair the airplane with. And and then at one point, the dang granny from the first movie was on one of those tours. Who yeah, had, who, I, I vaguely remember seeing that. They tried to make her into a bigger antagonist and it, it didn't work as well as they thought it would. It was it, funny. It didn't. It's like it was funny, but like, it just it, it was odd because she was already like just a gag character from the first movie. Right. Right. It's like I didn't mind them revisiting the gag for the second film, but I feel like they <clears throat> she she got more screen time than she probably needed. Right. It should have just been another toss with gag, but but in the sense of this, the funny bit with her and the ice, the funny bit with her and the penguins was they was that at one point they accidentally like they they drop something and it. It looks like that they just ran over the old lady, and she's lying in the in the in the road, completely unconscious. And Skipper, not Skipper, uh, Private is his name, the the the, the innocent one. Uh, that's Private. Uh, private, the private. Penguin? Yeah. It's like Skipper. Uh, oh my gosh, we got it. I think that's Private, because because yeah, Rico yeah, again, that's Private. Because Rico's the insane pyromat pyro guy. Yeah, it, Kowals there's, there's Rico. Kowalski, Kowalski's the, in private. the intel guy, and Skipper's lead. Okay, yeah. So Private. So when they see the lady, the old lady, like unconscious in the middle of the road, Skip Private's like, "Oh my gosh, did we kill her?" And then she gets up, like all intense, like, "I'm not dead." And then Skipper's like, "No!" And just he lays on the gas to just ram into her at all at high <laughs> speeds, like, "No!" To finish the job. Jesus Christ! It's just little bits like that. I really should. On that note, like, I feel like, because it's the only part of the series I haven't seen for myself, I really should, like, take the time to watch the uh, Penguins movie, because, like, the show is just kind of eh, but I heard the movie itself is, like, genuinely funny. It does still, I'll say right now, it, def it definitely lays into the non- Jesus, what the fuck? I you? realize I shouldn't be coming here this way. What the hell do they do? What are you I supposed to do here? I was supposed to come here from a completely different direction, but this is also where I think the last blood cooler is. Okay. Or it's it, we're close to it. After that, we can just make a mad mad dash straight hey! to the there. There it is. First, I'm gonna get eat, gonna kick you kick you in the teeth, and oh. then <laughs> he's like hunched over, like oh god. Oh, why don't <laughs> really, the... I why did I do that? My tail fucking hurts. <laughs> why don't the Vendaloo Curry? There's glass shards everywhere. Oh, this is what you're supposed to do then. Yeah, I was supposed to come from another from a different I was like, direction. holy crap, that was way too many. Like, you got lucky on that second swipe of them. Anyway, um, uh, I'll I'll definitely say that uh, I see I've seen enough of penguins of, of the penguins movie. Not all of it, I'll admit, but I've seen enough of penguins to say that they definitely lay into the non sequitur wildness to a similar degree as the third movie did. Ah, perfect. Right. That I know for a fact. Got it. It's still time. All right. Ooh. Now the rest of the whole now the rest of the uh, thing will actually go down pretty easily. Sweet.